Hey, what's up guys? My name is Echerno. Welcome to episode 38 of Game Programming. So yesterday, I keep saying that as if this show is daily. Last episode is what I mean. You guys know that. Last episode, we took a look at this freaking void tile thing. Well, not, not, not really this void tile thing, but this, this problem here, solving that array index out of bounds exception, where if we go out of the bounds of the map, we'll just simply return a void tile. That's what we did last time. And today, we're gonna take a look at fixing this um, procedural generation problem, basically. It's not really procedural generation, more like procedural um, rendering. But you can see that every time we move, we get these black bars, basically, and it just does not look very good. Now, what this is, though, is it's like a, I don't know, I really like this. I really do, because it, it shows very clearly how, how this thing is rendering. Because you can see that basically, as, as soon as we access a tile further down here, it's cutting out a tile here. So we're not actually rendering the entire map at once. We're just rendering what we see in this little window, which is beautiful, because you can see we're running at freaking 4,000 frames per second, and that's just freaking insane. So, um, that's, that's brilliant. Um, then again, I do have a supercomputer, so you guys probably won't be running that fast, but the point is we're still running extremely fast, which is awesome. So now we need to, we need to fix this because like from, from a technical standpoint, this looks freaking amazing, but from an aesthetical standpoint, nah, not really. So we, we sort of want to fix that up and make this really smooth. Now there are a few things we need to do to actually achieve that. First of all, You'll see that we've actually got three areas of black barness. It's not happening to the vertical. It's not happening to this to this edge of the screen, the top edge of the screen. Not exactly sure why, but it was well, just not. So let's just roll with that. Um, but yeah, it's not happening to the top. So we don't need to do anything about that. That's beautiful. It is happening to the bottom, the left, and the right. So yeah, let's think about that. So first of all, first thing you need to consider is what is happening with each edge. Now, the two of these edges have something in common and that is the bottom one and the right one. And the reason they have something in common, the thing that they have in common here is the fact that they are actually like the, the exceeding like things, right? So in other words, because remember zero, zero, the coordinate zero, zero is in the top left corner um, in our game, all right? which means that this is the far right and this is like the far bottom corner. This is like zero, the, t the top and left, they're both zero, but the right one is width and the bottom one is height. That is what those edges are equal to. Um, and so to deal with them, we'll clearly need to do something about height and width respectively to actually you know, fix this, fix the right and the bottom corners, uh, edges rather. But for the left side, we actually have to do something with, well, with zero, basically. We need to do something with zero. Now it is currently set to zero, but you can see that zero just is not low enough. And we actually have to go a bit lower. We need to go deeper, uh, but we need to go a bit lower to actually fix this thing. So how are we gonna do that? So let's, let's talk about fixing the left side for a minute. So to fix that, we'll go into our screen.java class and right over here in render tile, that's where all the magic happens. So at the moment you can see that we're actually breaking, right? We're breaking when XA is less than zero. Now X is obviously the problematic zone here because X is our, our horizontal and that's where our problem is on the left side. Um, it's when it's less than zero, it's breaking. Now zero does not seem to be low enough. So yeah, it looks like it's actually offset by an entire tile. If we go over here, that's basically the size of a tile, right? It is, if you freaking Draw that there, that's pretty much the size of the tile. It might be like two pixels less, but point is we'll just assume that that's the size, of the, uh, the size of the tile, especially to be safe anyway. So to fix that, let's just simply, you know, set it to minus one tile that way. So minus one tile left. So basically we can just set it to minus 16. But again, to future proof this thing, we can set it uh, to minus tile.sprite.size because tile.sprite.size is, is 16, remember, in this case. And we'll just, you know, basically multiply by negative one to make it negative 16. And that is it, if we actually run this. Now, first of all, uh, if we run this, um, you'll see that we crash. And the reason we crash, obviously, is uh, actually, you know what, let's, let's debug this for you guys. Um, you can see that we've crashed here because XP value is negative 15. So it's obviously gonna be an array index out of bounds exception because pixels, the index of pixels that it's trying to look up is actually returning a negative number. You can see right here, it's negative 15. That's a problem. So in order to fix that, we simply need to say, all right, well, don't break in that case. If it's negative, if, if it goes into the negative, don't necessarily break. Let's, first of all, because what, remember what it's doing is it, it's, it's, it's only breaking when it's less than negative 16. But what if it's negative 10, for example? 
you know, that's that's gonna that's gonna pass through this. It's not gonna break in that case. But what it is gonna do is throw throw on a rain next out of bounds exception. So what we'll say is, all right, well if if it is negative ten, for example, don't don't really break, right? Because we've set it not to break, which is good because before it did break, let's not break, but let's just let's just set it to zero. So if x a is less than zero, let's just set x a equal to zero. And what what that will do is actually say that if it's less than zero. Well, it's just gonna make it equal zero. And as you can see, that fixes our problem. Now our left side is beautiful. Now I know what you guys are thinking. You guys are thinking, oh, well, that was easy. Let's do the same thing to X to um, this. And we'll just, you know, we'll just, we'll just add on 16 to both width and height and that'll be fine. No, it won't be fine. You can't do that. You can't do it for that, all right? What we can do, however, is go into our level class and actually expand this rendering zone. We can't actually do it for this. This is actually kind of a, kind of like a, a phenomenon or something. For some reason, we can't actually do the negative stuff to x to the to the to the uh, lower corner pins so x zero and y zero, but we we can sort of expand the x one and y one. So it's it's a bit interesting. But the thing is, at the moment we're looking up x scroll plus screen width, which gives us one basically one full like tile thing, right? You can see that's exactly like one full one full tile thing. But then we sort of cross over here, right? And you can see that it's sort of offset, it's, it's out by one tile again for both sides. So what we can do is simply add on the size of one tile. So literally just add on 16 till the end. And then again, what that is gonna do is it's gonna get the X scroll and Y scroll values and it's gonna add on the width and then it's gonna add on a further 16, just, just to be one tile safe. So it's gonna just render one more tile and that'll sort of prevent that screen thing. Now, um, what we've got here you can see is a perfectly running thing. And you can see that we're still running at pretty much the same frame rate. This screen recorder sort of mucks things up a bit. But you can see that we're running about 3,700 frames per second. And, uh, and that's great. So we fixed it with minimal performance impact. Again, of course, there will be a very, very slight performance impact because we are actually rendering one, one more tile horizontally and vertically and the other way horizontally as well. But, you know, that, that's the price we pay to make our game look nice. Um, one last thing I'll mention quickly is, yeah, we've got this issue here where it's 16 and it's not tile. It's not actually the size of the tile. Uh, there's several ways we're gonna fix that. Um, so in other words, you can see that over here in our screen class, we actually you know, managed to go tile dots by the size, which we can't do here um, in our level thing. But that's all right. Um, we'll, we'll fix that later on when we actually you know, change this, this tile method a bit. But yeah, so anyway, that's what we get. That's what we get our beautiful result of the game, which now looks really nice, basically. Looks freaking amazing. It's ready to freaking put, put a pre-alpha version up on a website and get people to download it because it's, it's pretty damn good. Um, but yeah, that is the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button. Give this video a favorite because it was freaking amazing. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.